I would say that Tribe Called Quest was definitely the fathers of a whole new brand of hip hop. They completely mastered the form and culture of what hip hop is supposed to be. Up to then, rap was maybe more about like boasting. And they came out and it was like party records, but doing it with a consciousness. Everything about that was magic. Sidereel sat down with Michael Rappaport to talk about his latest documentary film, Beats, Rhymes, and Life. I first heard of Tribe Called Quest on the radio um, in New York City in like 1987, 88. I just loved it. I loved everything about it. I loved the, the, the musicality of it. I loved the, the consciousness of it, the, consciousness of it the, the, the sense of humor. I loved the inclusiveness uh, of, of the music. It was just perfect to me. Nothing was touching Tribe, nothing. I've known Q-Tip since we were about two years old. We met in church. Best friends, you know what I'm saying? He was the one who said to me, yo, you should rhyme. And if you could rhyme, that was like a big deal. Then he had met Ali in high school, and before you knew it, it was on. That curiosity of if they would ever record again and um, why they broke up is what spawned the documentary Beat Trombs in Life. There's no real studio or a market for these small ideas. They're a tiny idea. And, and documentaries are, are a wing and a prayer, and they're a crapshoot. You never know what you're going to get or you know, how it's going to turn out. Um, and if you do it the real independent way and in, in the real raw, <coughs> uncontrived way, you know, it's, it's a financial risk. So I think that the only way to do it is it's something you, you're compelled to do. Um, can I kick it? These are the drums. Q-Tip just picks the best loops, man. Myself, Kanye. We wouldn't be here, man, if it wasn't like for Tribe Album. The only change I sought was just to see those guys' relationship deteriorate. The chemistry was dead. I've never had a problem. When they started performing on the Rock the Bell Store in 2008, <clears throat> that was it. Like, I knew that it might not ever happen again. They were headlining a huge tour with, with other more quote-unquote relevant artists of today, and I asked the group, uh, told them what I wanted to do, and asked them uh, if, if they would allow me to do it, and they were like, cool, and, and really getting started was one of the easier parts of, of, of making this film. Yo, microphone check, one, two, what is this? The five for the seven with the roughneck business. When he came through on bugging out the first time we heard it, yo, microphone check, one, two, what is this? What? Yo, microphone check. One, two, what is this? The way that I describe that, yo, is the same way that N.W.A. busted through the Martin Luther King, I had a dream piece of paper on the Express Yourself video. Like, they busted through that piece of paper like, what? I wanted it to be about a Tribe Called Quest. I didn't want it to be about my journey with a Tribe Called Quest. Um, and, you know, editorial-wise, you know, we, we had so much great footage. Just adding me into the mix would make things messy. So it re really gave us a good framework to, to stay within that if it wasn't about tribe, it had to go. It, it had to be about tribe. So, you know, I'm glad it turned out that way. I didn't want to, you know, make it like, all right, we're going to go knock on Fife Store. Come on. You know, I wanted it to just be more organic and more of a classic uh, cinema verite type of film. I'm about to have surgery, that kidney transplantation. I'm scared as hell. You know what I mean? But I'm brave enough to get it done because I got a lot more living to do and things to do. Yeah, at first, you know, when he first started taking his insulin stuff, that was hard, you know what I'm saying? But when it started really affecting his health, that was really, really difficult. I said I wasn't gonna stop crying. <laughs> the, the stuff uh, with Fife regarding his health and, um, you know, his family um, was very, sensitive i was very conscious that what he was going through was a real thing although i was starting to shoot it you know within the, the parameters of this movie i never wanted to be annoying make things more uncomfortable or make it about us and the movie i just wanted to be a fly on the wall and be non-intrusive and as supportive as, as as i could be i'm gone that was it for me good things do come to an end i did everything i could do 20 years Beat Rhymes in Life, uh, The Travels of a Tribe Called Quest is, is the most independent thing I've ever worked on, and I've worked on a lot. You know, it's the most uncooked, small idea that, that spawned itself into a way bigger thing than any of us had, had imagined. As the tribe flies high like a tub.
I think the reason why a child court quest is still relevant is because it was truth. <laughs>